I was in my head, I was like, man, I wish I could have gotten a little more in-game work there. But you know what? For the first one, uh, shorter is better, quick and clean, get in, get out. I'm healthy. I feel great. Uh, just some of the little things, getting back into compete mode again, see how the delivery uh, carries over. I'll have to go back and watch video to you know, see, but it felt really good. It felt clean. I feel healthy. Um, those are all the big takeaways. How many more did you throw after? I think I finished up with about 10 more, just so that, you know, to bridge the gap to the two inning outing and make that a little easier. Thank you. Greg Joyce, you have the next question. Please unmute. Hey, Dan, what was it like uh, warming up in the bullpen? What were you thinking mentally? Did you have any butterflies at all? Yeah, um, so I'm not used to not starting. So that was different in, in my mind earlier. And then, you know, we've got such an easy access to the backfield there. I was able to warm up right as pretty much as I would if I were starting the game. Uh, so that was really nice. Um, I didn't have butterflies once I got to the field, but waking up today, it definitely felt a little different. Um, so I was a little nervous. Um, but other than that, once I got going, uh, once I'm on the mound and stuff, that's kind of like my safe spot where I'm confident. So it felt good. We can go next to Christy Ackert. Christy, go ahead. Hi, Jameson. What What's the next step for you? Uh, what did you did you throw everything today, and and how did they feel? Yeah. Uh, so the next step will be just getting into a tuning game, upping the pitch count. Um, I didn't get to throw any changeups today. Um, that pitch usually just kind of comes last in my mind. The other pitches take a little bit of priority over that one. Um, but I'd love to just kind of run some more sequences together um, and just honestly get back in game mode and get to face more hitters. That's really the next step is just to turn a lineup over, see the hitters more than once, see how my stuff plays. We go next to Eric Boland. Eric, go ahead. James, I know you're a new Yankee, but uh, what's your experience like been so far throwing to Gary? Yeah, I've enjoyed throwing to Gary. Um, he made a really good impression on me because my first few bullpens, he wasn't lined up to catch me, but he was sitting right behind the catcher, watching every pitch, locked in, uh, and he made some comments to me after my bullpens and stuff about what he saw. So, you know, for me, that was a great first impression, and he's making a really strong effort to get to know me and work with me. So, um, you know, the more reps we get together, the more in-game experience we get together, the better we'll be. Um, but so far, so good. I'm a pretty easy guy to catch. There's nothing too specific. Um, I like to just sequence my pitches together. I told him a few like good sequences I like and I've, I've used in the past. And uh, besides that, I, I like to give the catcher the freedom to see what the hitter's doing and to call their game. Uh, we can go to Greg Joyce. Do you remember your, uh, your first came back from the first surgery? Was that in spring training? And how does this one compare to that? Yeah, so um, let's see. Spring training at 14, I had TJ. I think my first game back was just like a GCL game in Clearwater. Um, so less fans, which it was nice to have fans today. Um, and I was facing much younger hitters. I wasn't facing experienced like 40-man roster, big league hitters. So this is a great test. Um, first game back, getting to be against big leaguers on a big league stadium or big league spring training stadium against a, a big league lineup. So uh, definitely different, and I'm at a way different point in my life.